Hello, I'm Leslie Martin and I'm a rigging artist at Mainframe Studios here in Vancouver. Rigging artists create controls for animators to move characters and props in a 3D environment. This control over the 3D mesh is accomplished via bones and other influences and deformers. We use a combination of coding and artistic knowledge to get our rigs looking just right before they can be used in animation. Now let's see how it's done. In the rigging department, we are provided with a 3D mesh that has been created in the computer software by the modeling department. This model has been assigned to a uniquely named asset structure to prevent it from getting confused with other models. This asset is a B. When we first look into the asset, the model is rigid. You can move the entire model as a whole or by selecting the individual points called vertices that give the model its shape but it's hard to key or save the location of these vertices in order to move them back to their original position, and it's impractical to animate this way. It is our job to create a structure that can be more easily moved by the animation department so they can create fluid motion that looks more realistic. In order to accomplish this from scratch, we can create bones, create controllers, make the controllers move the bones, make the bones move the mesh, and then smooth out the folds in the mesh created by the movement of the bones. When you have a lot of assets to rig, this step-by-step -step approach can become very time-consuming, so we automate the process a bit with scripting. This also automates the process of rebuilding the rig so we can consistently recreate the control system with the push of a button. We can also share these files with other riggers easily so they can build the rig and we can help each other debug and fix problems that may arise. First, we write the guides that act as position markers into the code. This tells the program how many bones we are eventually going to create, where they are, and how they will be connected. To do this, we need to know what the points of articulation are. How does the asset need to move? For this B asset, we know we want the wings to be able to fly, the legs and antennae to move independently, and we'll need some articulation between the different sections of the main body, including the head. All of these points of articulation will need guides coded into a Python script, so we can automate the creation of the bones just by placing guides where we need them. When we run that code in Maya through Mainframe's rig build system, it reads the code and places the guides in Maya so we can move them where we want the bones to be. Once we save out the location of these guides, we write the puppet portion of the code, which will bring the actual bones with the pre-made controllers in the configuration that we specified in the code. From here, we create a user interface for the rig by changing the sizes, shapes, and colors of the controls to make them easy to read for animators. Then we connect the points of the mesh to the bones in a process called skinning. To smooth out the transitions on the mesh, we paint these skin weights to tell each vertex how much they should follow each bone. We save out the rig controller information and the skin weight information to separate files so we can read them in later to rebuild the rig and so we can change them easily if need be. We need to go through this process for all parts of the model that need to move, and generally we'll do it in stages, meaning we'll make sure the position markers are in the correct place, and then we'll code and build the bones for them. If we need to add extra functionality later, we can just go back to the code and plug it in. When the rig is finished, it looks something like this. Then we publish the rig to hand off to animation and other departments so they can make it move nicely and look great for the final show. This is the final B asset in action in an episode of Reboot the Guardian Code. Ah, the Queen's Lair must be at the top of the hive. This was just a basic introduction to how we use logic, technology, and art to create some of your favorite animated characters in TV shows. Rigging is very important and it's only one part of the animation pipeline. There are a lot of people involved in the making of animations and I encourage you to look at all of the different departments and see how many artists work in them the next time you see an animated show. Thank you for joining me and stay creative.